Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Akshay Sriniti Kripa from Informatica GCS and in this video I will be presenting to you on how to retrieve activity log entries using IACS REST API. So let's get started. The agenda in this video would be a brief introduction to IACS REST API, the initial login call, retrieving activity log entries, a few FAQs and I will also be showing you a quick demo on how we can retrieve activity log entries from Postman client. IACS REST API Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services offers a set of REST APIs that can be used for services such as data integration. There are a number of REST API resources which can be used depending on the information that you are looking to retrieve. Basically, there are two different versions of REST API, version 2 and version 3. For retrieving the activity log entries, we will have to use version 2. There is a slight difference in the format of the request which we make depending on the two versions of REST API and I would suggest you to refer to the REST API connector guide for clarifications on the formatting. To use most of the APIs, we would require IC session ID. This is a key which is mandatory and it is obtained by invoking the login API call. In this particular video, we will be focusing on retrieving the activity log entries using IACS REST API. REST API login call. To log in to your Informatica Cloud organization, you will need the Informatica Cloud credentials. Once you have the credentials, you can make use of the request which you see in the screen over here to make the initial login call. You will have to make a request to the master URL that is seen here. This would be a post request and you can pass the IACS user credentials in the raw body section. If the request is successful, it would return a response and we would need to capture the IC session ID and server URL from the response. IACS activity log. For retrieving the activity log entries, we will be making use of the IACS REST API resource activity log. To request information from the activity log, you can make use of the following URI. API slash v2 slash activity slash activity log. You will need to append this uh, URI to the server URL. There are also a number of parameters that can be used in this get call to retrieve activity entries of a particular uh, task ID or run ID. The parameters which can be used are log entry ID, task ID, run ID, offset and row limit. Here's a sample get request call which makes use of the parameter row limit. This parameter gets appended after activity log resource and it says the API to retrieve 1000 entries of the activity log. You also have the option to fetch session log and error log files using this activity log REST API resource. Here are a few of the FAQs which I would like to highlight. Activity log REST API call fetches the log entries of the executed tasks in the monitor page. If you are looking to retrieve the entries of the running task, then you will need to go for activity monitor 
resource instead of activity log resource. The activity log API returns the latest 200 entries in activity log which you will be seeing once you log in to your IACS org if you go to monitor page. By default, the number of entries which is retrieved is 200. However, you have the option to increase this count by making use of the parameter row limit. It is also to be noted that the maximum number you can specify for row limit option is 1000. So now let's jump in to a quick demo where I would be showing you how to make use of Postman and make the IACS login REST API call and we will capture the IC session ID and server URL returned in the first call to make a GET request to retrieve the entries from activity log REST API resource. First things first, we will need to make the initial login call which will help us in capturing the IC session ID and the server URL which we would need to make our next successor get call to retrieve the activity log entry. This is a post call and the format for the login call looks like this. The master URL which is appended with API on slash v2 slash user slash login. In addition to this, you will need to pass the credentials of your IACS user in this particular format in the raw body section. Once this credential detail is populated, you can hit on send. The response which gets returned would be successful if the credentials are valid. In the response, you will be able to capture the value for server URL and the IC session ID. The server URL value depends on the IACS org pod. Once you have the server URL, copy the server URL and paste it in the next get call which you will need to make. Along with the server URL, as discussed earlier, you will need to append the format for retrieving the activity log entries, which is API slash v2 slash activity slash activity log. And this would be a get call. Now we will need to copy the value of IC session ID and pass it in the header section of this get call. It is also to be noted that the value of IC session ID expires after an inactivity of 30 minutes. Once you populate the IC session ID and ensure that the format of the URL is right, you can hit on send. Yeah, now the response is successful and you will be able to see the entries of the activity log. By default, it would capture the first 200 entries in the activity log. If you look at the response, it would contain many useful information such as the task ID, task type, run ID, start time, success and failure rows, schedule to which the task is assigned and other such always refer our informatica knowledge base portal you can also have the rest api documentation handy in case you are looking to make any iacs rest api calls we would love to hear from you for any reviews or feedback please reach out to us on support videos at informatica.com you can also tweet us in infra support thanks everyone i hope this video was useful and you got an understanding of how to retrieve the entries of activity log using iacs rest api bye